Good morning. It is 5.58 a.m. on Tuesday, January 12th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, I had an unusual evening last night. Not in any sense that would be interesting to other people, but just in terms of a departure from my own routine behaviors. Um, after uh, coming home and doing a little bit of writing, um, continuing to enjoy, by the way, the process of writing my daily serial, Phyllis Exposito, Interdimensional Private Eye. Um, but after doing a little bit of writing, I did a jigsaw puzzle. I started on one anyway. I got a 1,000 piece puzzle and I worked on it for about almost two hours. Yeah, maybe about two hours. And, uh, um, I got all of the uh, edges done and I started filling in a little f few bits in the in the in between, and then um, I actually went to bed on timeish. I know what you're saying. You're saying what? But that's something you've been trying to do for a while, and then you just keep staying up a little later and a little later. Yep. I don't know. It was kind of nice. I mean. Not that I'm going to completely abandon TV and video games or anything, but it was a nice change of pace to just have something non-screen related. And then going to bed early enough, you know, I'm feeling relatively well rested. Not that I was immediately ready to hop out of bed or anything, but certainly in terms of not being exhausted. Got a little dog who's a little bit agitated this morning. She barfed on the bedspread first thing this morning. Um, it's actually twice in about a week that she's thrown up, um, like either in the middle of the night or in the morning. Um, I'm, you know, not overly concerned yet, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, because she certainly has an appetite still. She is eliminating normally. Seems same energy level. So other than the uh, couple of barfing incidents, uh, yeah, I'm not noticing any other symptoms of anything. So I'll keep an eye on it. If it uh, seems to be progressing in any particular way, I will uh, uh, perhaps need to take her to the vet. But anyway... Right now, she is just all worked up that apparently someone out in the hallway has dared to make a noise. <gasps> yeah, see, now you're probably all ad admiring, uh, admiring, admiring her remarkable restraint. See, remarkable restraint both start with R-E, and so that's why I was putting an R-E on admiring, because otherwise it would be remiring her admarkable adstraint and that would have just made no sense see why i corrected myself now huh boy i am in a little bit of a weird mood it's those jigsaw puzzles man um <laughs> there's the squeaky toy um yeah so i i enjoyed it um I actually picked up two uh, jigsaw puzzles um, that uh, one was a photo mosaic of Darth Vader and one is a very colorful picture of like uh, fancy cocktails on a beach. And it was interesting too because at first I put up a Twitter poll to ask people which one they thought I should start with. And uh, um, the Darth Vader one got more votes. But it was an interesting experiment because uh, sometimes, you know, if you can't decide on something, you can try flipping a coin and then not necessarily enslaving yourself to the coin, but you look at what the coin result was and you, decide, and you ask yourself, how do I feel about this result? And if you find that you feel disappointed in the outcome of the coin, Maybe that means what you really want is to do the other thing, and you could just go do the other thing. So in this case, when I saw Darth Vader was getting a few more votes, I was feeling like, oh, I kind of wanted to do the other one. And then I said, oh, how about I just do the other one? And uh, so I did. So I'm starting that one. And uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 liking it as a uh, you know new readdition into my uh, routine to have that just be a sometimes activity. And it's kind of off in the corner where I'm not, um, you know, looking at the TV at the same time or anything like that. So it's kind of a separate, calming, uh, sort of almost meditative activity. Although I was listening to podcasts, so it's less meditative that way. Um, uh, oh, so I'm past five minutes, but the last thing I kind of wanted to address today is just that, uh, you know, with the whole thing with the, with the David Bowie dying, um, Believe it or not, the video yesterday was kind of just sort of the start of a wave where I kind of got even more sad from there. But at the same time, it was really cool seeing all of the tributes that the internet put together. Just lots of people kind of sharing in this feeling of, uh, you know, sadness, but also celebration of how great this guy was and, uh, and all the cool stuff that he did, that he did. So that was kind of cool sharing that, even if you had the occasional snarky jerk on the internet somewhere complaining about how, oh, everyone's in a competition all of a sudden to be sad. And I'm like, you know what? If the worst thing a person is doing in a day is pretending to be more sad than they really are about how, how, uh, about someone who's died, that's not so bad. <laughs> it encourages empathy. <laughs> And it is like it's a communal group thing as opposed to someone who wants to stand on the side and point and complain. So, in any case, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.